But on this occasion, after Saif forced me to come towards Perth, truly it's an honor for me to be here and to see all of your wonderful faces here. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless each and every one of you. And may he grant you the intercession of Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam. Secondly, directly after my lecture, we will have a question and answer session with the whole community. Alameen. Wassalat wassalam. Ala Sayyidina wa Azimina. Wa Habib Qulubina wa Shafi'a Nufusina. Abil Qasim Muhammad. وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين وأصحابه الغر الميامين الحمد لله الذي جعلنا من المتمسكين بولاية سيدي ومولاي علي بن أبي طالب الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله أما بعد All praise is due to Allah Master of all the worlds And peace and blessings be on his prophet And Allah was right when he said Evil will be the end for those who committed evil because they rejected our communications and used to mock them. O oh Yazid, do you think that God has made you honorable and made us contemptible now that in your belief you have blocked the earth zones and the heavens horizons and have left no solution for us. You crow with pleasure now that the world is allocated to you. Our government comes towards you and our affairs are arranged for you. Get off your high horse. Have you not read in the Quran where Allah says, let not those who disbelieve think our granting them respite is good for their souls. Rather, we grant them respite so they may add to their sins. And for them there is a chainful, painful chastisement. O oh, Yazid, O oh, you whose father was freed by my grandfather, is it fair that you place your wives behind a curtain while the daughters of Rasulullah Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi are taken from city to city as captives. Is it fair that you disgrace us by unveiling our faces so that everyone can see us from the stranger to the acquaintance, from the noble to the ignoble, while there is none to defend us? How can I hope for sympathy and compassion from someone whose grandmother chewed the liver of the noble and was born from the flesh of the martyrs. You boast about your disbeliever ancestors <coughs> wishing that they were present so that they could see what you have done. You don't consider yourself a sinner over this mortal blow. You shed the blood of the progeny of Abd al-Muttalib alayhi salam the heavenly stars on earth but i'll be patient since soon you'll be joining them then you'll wish that your hands had withered away and that you had not acted what you acted and that you were deaf and you were dumb having done what you have done i will remain patient and i will ask allah to gain vengeance for us O oh, Yazid, 
by Allah you've cloven your own skin and flesh. Soon you'll meet the messenger of Allah, having disgraced his children, killed them and held them as captives. But O oh Yazid, remember the verse in the Quran when Allah says, Do not count those who have died in the way of Allah as being dead. Rather they are alive, receiving sustenance from their Lord. For us, enough it is that Allah is the judge and that the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi is the petitioner and that Gabriel is the supporter. Those people who paved the way for you to dominate over us will soon find out whose army is weaker and whose thoughts are inferior and the retribution will come towards them. O oh Yazid, although the plight has made me speak to you, I find speaking to you of little value, but I find scolding you great. Therefore I'll continue to scold you. The eyes are tearful and the heart is sorrowful. How ironic it is that the members of the party of Allah are killed by the members of the party of Shaytan. Our blood drips from your pores and our flesh drips from your teeth. But O oh Yazid, know that your government is unstable and your ideas are transitory. O oh Yazid, you'll meet the Lord on the day of judgment and then you'll realize that whatever you had put forth as booty, you'll realize at the end is only indemnity. O oh Yazid, however hard you try, you'll never obliterate our love and our memory from the hearts of the people. I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for completing the task of the chiefs of the youth of paradise with prosperity and accommodating them with paradise. I pray to Allah that he elevates their ranks and favors them with his kindness for Allah is omnipotent. The first of our loud salawat and honor of Rasulullah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. The second is in honor of Imam Amir al muminin alayhi wa sallam. The third in honor of Sayyidah Zainab alayhi wa sallam. And the fourth and certainly not the least in honor of the Imam of our time, Imam Sahib al-Asr wa al-Zaman. Allah. 